take a look back at the events of the contest tonight. Uh, it really, you know, it started early with the turnovers for LCA. As you see McCamey here trying to make room. Ball pops loose. And then Brown is going to make a big run. Brown played very prominently this ball game tonight. I'd say between Brown and Genovese, those would be the two guys. And, of course, the, the wide receiver, um, Sam Cranford as well. And there you see the run in by Genovese. Ran in behind is, uh, here's McCamey. And, and this is the fourth down run that yeah. uh, really turned the tide back right here. Jeff. That would have been a first down for, for LCA. And then Brown again. What can Brown up. do yeah. for you? Yeah, I mean. <laughs> of course, later on, you know, he has another big play. Right. of the first half and that was working for him and now they're going to go to the shotgun on third down if my if my numbers are right I don't believe I don't believe LCA has converted on a third down yet tonight McCamey had it tapped at the line and that's the second time tonight that Robert Brown has put his mitts on the football on a scout McCamey attempt well according to coach uh, Matthews that uh, he says that uh, Robert Brown has a great future and uh, he's the guy that took over for Trent Fisher that's the position Trent played and I believe that Robert's playing pretty well huh he, he has he's got his hand on a couple of footballs and there's Lewis Trapnell back on about his 40 yard line to receive the punt and this is a good one and calling for the fair catch to the far side the pitch goes to the right side and Hoke lost the football and on top of it though is Barrett but again they're uh, they're having to go second and long third and long wits here's the pitch back and well it looks like he tried to transfer it from his left hand to his right hand and not a good idea 
luckily they came came up with the loose football. HSAA offers. McCamey has Mossbarger to his right. McCamey has to step up now with the pressure. He is going to go over the middle. It is batted down and a nice defensive play by Robert Brown. Yep. That might have gone for something nice, but it got the pass down a little low and Robert Brown was able to get a fingertip on it. But if you're going to go uh, for fourth and uh, one, on your own 20 early in the game, I think you'll go for it here. There's McCamey. Sees his target, but uh, didn't get the ball up high enough. Brown got a hand on it. Not been a lot of long possessions for LCA in this contest. By eight and Scout McCamey and his offense, first and ten. And McCamey is going to have to run. There is a flag, so we'll hold off. And it looked like it was nearly intercepted. Another great defensive play by Robert Brown, but uh, there was a flag way hey, hey, back. Tell you what, this Robert Brown is about as good a defensive back that, I, uh, that I've seen in a long time. I'll tell you what, the, the two defensive backs that we've yeah. seen tonight, Brown and Hickey, have been tremendous. 
The flag was way back up there uh, behind the play, but look again at the uh, job by Brown to come over the top and nearly come away with that ball. Well, the ground caused it to come loose, actually. And it was actually Hickey yeah. that, he was, that he was getting. But if Brown is really, I don't know if it was maybe holding on uh, the offensive line because McCamey was scrambling. I think that's the call. But, yep. But yeah, this Brown kid is uh, exceptional. I think he's got a chance to play at the next level, certainly. No question about it. They breed cornerbacks at uh, Christ Presbyterian, don't they? Well, so it he's taken over for Fisher. Yeah, it was a spot it of the was foul the penalty. So that's a lot of yardage lost there. Back on the 